Hey guys, welcome to the 77th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the date time picker control. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a date time picker. So, just go over to your toolbox and drag a date time picker over. And as you can see right here, we now have control that will allow us to choose the date and or time. Right now, it only displays the date, even if we were to make this larger. But I'm going to show you how to choose the time as well later. So let's just debug right here and look at our control. So you can change the uh, date and the time by clicking this little uh, down button right here and we can now select our date. So if we want to make it July 14th, we can do that. July 4th, yep, we can do that as well. If we want to change the year, we can change it to 2009 or anything that you would like. But yeah, that's how to work the control. Now, in order to make the time be displayed, you're just going to want to have the date time picker selected and go over to the properties panel. Then under format, just change it to something different. The long is just will display just like how it is right now. The short is just a shorthand version of the date. The time will obviously display the time and the custom will allow us to create our own custom format. So if we wanted to have the date and the time, we can do that. And in order to create your own custom format, you're just going to have to type the format that you want inside of this box. In order to find out what to type for the format that you want, just go on Google and type in datetimepicker.customformatproperty and then click on the first link. It should be uh, MSDN. And right here we just have uh, a table displaying all the different formats we can have. So if we wanted to have the one or two digit day, so if we wanted it to display the 12th, since it's uh, the 12th of uh, July, we would just put a lowercase d. So we just go back into C sharp, type a lowercase d right in here, and we should get 12 in uh, this mess or in this date time picker. Yep, we get 12. If you wanted to have it print out to Tuesday, since today is Tuesday, just type in three lowercase d's or four lowercase d's. Sorry, and yeah, we get Tuesday. And I'm not going to go through every single one of them here because it explains it pretty well. But yeah, you can create your own uh, custom format. I already have some created just to show you guys. Um, the first one is basically the long version of the date with the time as well. So see right there, we have the long date and we also have the time. The second one is the short version of the date and as the time as well. Yep. And you can also screw with the fonts in your date time picker. So if you wanted the font to be something different, just click this little drop down arrow right here and go down to the uh, name, which is the font name, and just click this little drop down arrow. And now you can uh, choose all the different fonts or choose from all the different fonts. I'll just make it Kati. I don't know what that is, but yeah, just change this slightly. You can make it like bold, or if you wanted to make it bold, yeah. Not going to do that though. So other property can be changed as well. Uh, you can also mess with the calendar colors. Uh, I'm not going to do that. It seems fine to me. Um, yeah. So you can, as you can see, you can mess with the like how it looks, but I think it looks pretty fine the way it is. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to uh, do something with what the user actually selects in the date time picker. So just double click on the button right here. And in order to get what the user selected in the date time picker, just do date time picker one or whatever you named your date time picker dot and then value. And the value is, yeah, it says gets or sets the date slash time value assigned to the control. And as you can see right here, it returns a date time value. So we can set this equal to a date time, which we learned in the last tutorial. So we could just create a new date time right here, call it DT. We could set it equal to um, whatever the user selects in the date time picker. Now, uh, you can obviously do different things with this using the date time um, struct, but I'm not going to get into that. We already learned that in the last tutorial. So I'm just going to have it display whatever the user selects in a message box. So we'll do message box dot show, and then dt dot two string. So it'll just convert the date time into a string. So now I'm going to debug here and click this button, whatever the user selects in this date time picker should be in a message box. 
PF 7 12 2011 11 51 45 p.m. PM is going to cut off there, but you may see it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the date time picker control. So see you guys.